Good morning, friends. Now look, let's get the baptism here. The first time baptism was ever mentioned in the New Testament was John the Baptist. Is that right? I place this up here and see you have to get your Godhead straightened out before you get baptism straightened out. That's John the Baptist. First baptism. Second time baptism spoke of was Acts 2 38, where they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ at the new church. The second place was Cornelius' house. Or no, I beg your pardon, Samaritans, Acts 7, 48 and 49. And Acts 10, 49 was well, where he baptized him at the house of uh, Cornelius. And the next time baptism was spoke of, and calling any names or titles, was over in Acts 19.5. Now, when they were baptized at the day of Pentecost, they were baptized, Acts 2.38, in the name of Jesus Christ. Is that right? Yes. Well, write it down, look it up. The next, Philip went out two days later and began to preach to the Samaritans, and preach to them, and heal the sick, and had a great meeting down there, and baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Peter went out and laid hands on them, they received the Holy Ghost. Peter went up on the housetop a few days later, was hungry. He saw a vision. God sent him over to the house of Cornelius, and while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on them. And they began speaking in tongues and channel like they did in the first place. Peter said, they haven't even been baptized yet. So he commanded the other one to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Every person in the Bible was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And not one place in the Bible or all the history for the first 600 years after the death of the last apostles did they ever baptize any other ways but in the name of Jesus Christ. And go ask any Catholic priest that you want to. Ask them who changed that. And see what they say. Get the catechism and read it. Say, sure, some of the Protestants will be saved because they bow to our baptism. They changed it. They said they have the power and authority to do it. And you believe it. That's what they say. That's what they claim. That's what the Protestant church bows to. But scripturally, it's absolutely not one ounce of scripture about it. They had to be baptized over in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I hope I don't hurt you. But if the Bible said that I must repent, it means repent. Not do penance, but repent. The Bible said me be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It didn't mean something else. It didn't mean Father, Son, Holy Ghost. It said that. We say Matthew 28, 19 said baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That's exactly what it was. Now, if that isn't right, if they haven't got the right thing, then the faith that Peter had to baptize in the name of Jesus Christ and all the rest of the Bible, then they had a, a false revelation that God blessed that brings him right back where he should have blessed Eve in the beginning. Amen. The name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, that's three titles. It's only one name. You cannot be baptized in the name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost until you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ because that is the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen. Then the whole Bible is rolled out like that. Every person in the Bible is ever baptized is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody in the Scripture ever baptized in the titles of Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And everyone was baptized in the name of, of the Lord Jesus Christ was baptized in the name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Everyone was baptized the titles of Father, Son, Holy Ghost is baptized in no name at all. Amen. The title, like minister, reverend, doctor, whatever more, Father, Son, human, wife, titles, Said, don't make any difference. Then put your title on your check, not your name, and see where it goes. Say, <laughs> so I signed this check in the name of the housewife. <laughs> well, that makes just as much sense as would you disbelieve God's word when the revelation is laying right there before you. So what? Uh, sure. Sure. All right. It's supposed to believe it the way God said it. And it does not contradict itself. If it does, you come show me. <laughs> Don't contradict itself. Not at all. Satan might contradict it to you, but he can't to the Word. So the Word won't stand that. No, sir. That's the aged old thing. It's been thought of, but it's never been proven yet. Look down on your Bible and see if that says, in the names of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Does it? No, sir. Did it say, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost? It said, in the name. Is that right? Well, the name was Samuel. Is that right? 
For which name did he want him to baptize? The name of the Father, or the name of the Son, or the name of the Holy Ghost? He said, in the name. Well, frankly, there is neither one of them a name. How many fathers is in here? Let's see your name, your hand. All right. Which one of his name Father? Father's not a name. Father's a title. Amen. How many sons are in here? Sure. Every man, every male. A son. Well, which one of your name son? It's not a name. It's a title. Is that right? Amen. It's not a name. It's a title. Well, which one of these named humans? How many humans is Jared? All of you. Well, which one of these named humans? There is no such a thing. That's what you are. The Holy Ghost is not a name. That's what it is. I'm a human. So neither Father, Son, nor Holy Ghost is name. They're just three titles that goes to one name. He never said in the names, in the N-A-M-E-S, names of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He said in the N-A-M-E, name, singular. Look at your Bible and find out that's right, Matthew 28. In the name, not in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. That's the way a triune preacher baptizes. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. That's not even in the Bible. I've told you that there's not one scripture in the Bible that will contradict another. Amen. I want you to bring it to me. I've asked that for 26 years, and I haven't found it yet. There's no scripture that, con if it contradicts it, then it's a man-written affair. No, sir, there's no contradiction in the Bible. Now, this you said, what about that? Here stands Jesus saying, Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptize them, name, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And Peter turns right back around and said, Repent, every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. There's your contradiction. Looks like it. Now, if you read it with a carnal mind and not an open heart, it'll be a contradiction. But if you read it open-minded, the Holy Spirit has hid this from the eyes of the wise and prudent. Jesus said so, and thank God for it, and has revealed it to babes such as would learn. If you've got a mind and not a selfish mind, but a willing heart to learn, the Holy Ghost will teach you these things. Amen. You are in my perfect will. Amen. Keep playing those tapes. I'm coming for you.